One of my New Year's resolutions for 2022 was to follow Ted Wyram's advice and take regular breaks during my hiking trips instead of eating and drinking whilst walking. On a half day hike, when you don't necessarily want to heat up a meal, there's nothing quite like a decent cup of coffee, which always seems to taste twice as good in the great outdoors. So I invested in an air grind hand coffee grinder made by Nock and a Wakako Pipa Mocha to get the best out of my favourite coffee beans roasted by Thompson's in Glasgow. I tried taking a thermos of hot water, but three or four hours after boiling it, it just isn't hot enough to get the best out of the fresh coffee. There are lots of reviews of the Wakako Pika Mocha and the Nock Air Grind, but here are the basics in terms of what you get for your money. Nothing works like a live demonstration, as they say. The Nock Air Grind is a superb piece of design and engineering, with the additional benefit of grinding coffee beans down to espresso size and of course being hand-built in Scotland. Even if you don't like coffee but love top quality engineered products, then the air grind is for you. Put it on a shelf, in a display, whatever. The build quality is exceptional. It has 38mm conical burrs and the body and handle are all metal making it rugged enough to be carried in a backpack. The grind settings are stepless and it didn't take me long to dial in the grind size for the Wakako 3.0 for anyone interested. I weigh out a couple of 14 gram bags of coffee beans before setting off so the result is consistent and it takes about one minute to grind them all to put in the Wakako basket. Paper Mocha is also a very nicely designed bit of kit with everything fitting well together and working without any problems. It's very simple to use and I boil enough water for three quarters of a cup of coffee using the measure on the water chamber. found lots of recommendations on the internet for how fast or slow to twist the control ring but I don't think there is necessarily a single optimum speed. You can feel the resistance of the vacuum when you turn the control ring and all I do is maintain a consistent resistance by turning the control ring more or less often depending on whether the resistance is less or more. The air grind weighs almost 400 grams and the pipa mocha close to 430 grams 
So the two together weigh in at almost one kilo with the water you need, which makes those cups of coffee on the trail a luxury you have to pay for in backpack weight. And then of course there's the weight of the gas and the stove. The pleasure of a quality break with a fresh cup of coffee has become a welcome ritual on all my hikes, not least because it's a great opportunity to take in the glorious views here in Scotland. Whether it's reality or not, I do feel less exhausted after a day's hiking for having taken regular breaks. It's all good. 